Good morning, my little tumblers. Mrs. Lola here, and welcome back to the Rhythm Dance and Gymnastics YouTube page. I missed everyone so much during our week off due to the winter storm, and we're so glad to be back the last week of February. We will be making up those classes, so just keep an eye out in your emails. Um, we're just kind of waiting on our schools to confirm what dates work for them, and we'll just keep trucking forward. For the month of March, we will have a new class theme, and it is in the forest. We are going to be talking about different animal movements, different sounds, and all those fun things. What I love so much about class themes in gymnastics classes is that it allows your student to really use their imagination. And in a lot of cases, my class themes go along with things that they might already be learning in class. I can't wait to get moving with you this morning. Come on, let's get warmed up. Some sugar and crack the egg 
legs, stir it up. We want to make sure we make a big stir, get all the sides of your big bowl. Pour it in the pan. Pick up your bowl and we're going to, or sorry, pick up your pan and we're going to push it into the oven, right? One, two, three, push. Let's touch our toes and count to ten while our cake bakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull it out. Do we think it's hot? Maybe. Let's check. <gasps> so hot, so hot, so hot. Cool it off. frosting to go along with because we're talking about being in the forest this week so we put some green frosting and some yellow flowers and let's see what else does it need oh i'm gonna put some ladybugs little candy ladybugs and some gummy worms and i think that we should eat this cake walk your hands out as far as you can if you can go right here that's good if you can walk it all the way out and eat the cake Yum. Clean up the mess. We're going to cross our legs, hands in the air, and we're going to push all the way up to standing without putting our hands on the ground. Ready? One, two, three, push. Stand up. Great job, everyone. It's time to move into our stations. Station number one this week is our forward straddle roll. So this previous semester, we have worked on our forward rolls. Almost all of us are able to do those rolls by ourselves. Now we're just going to add a new position, which is our straddle position. Much like when we're sitting on the floor and we make our cake, our feet are going to be in the straddle position. So we're gonna put them out. They're gonna go right under our shoulders, hands all the way to the mat. We're gonna look under at that belly button and lean. Roll, and we're gonna push up and stand all the way tall. Station number two this week are bunny hops. So we are going to be hopping four times like a bunny into the hoop. So we're gonna focus on our feet are gonna go together. We can put our arms above our head or we can hold them like a bunny, whichever one we feel like. And we're gonna practice jumping off of two feet. Make sure we land on two. Hop, hop. And as we keep progressing through the next weeks, we'll practice doing these bunny hops faster and faster and build up our strength and our foot articulation. Station number three this week are our balance rocks. Oh, my students love to see these balance rocks. First off, they're so fun. They're super bright colors and they really challenge how far we've come with our balance. So you're going to step up onto the rock, pick one foot up. If the rocks are spaced too, spaced too far apart, you can step down on the floor and step up balance. Or if they can stretch, they can step all the way to the next rock. Station number four this week is our balance beam. We are going to practice doing our forward kicks. So we'll step up onto the balance beam and kick our leg up, down, up, down. I always tell them to put their arms out for balance. Kick. And we're gonna pretend like we are walking down a log that we would see in the forest. Kick, kick, and then we're gonna jump off. All right, everyone, let's take a field trip to class and tumble with your friends. Come on.
the bean bag. This is very similar to hot potato. We just used a couple of bean bags to pass around the circle. This game is so fun and allows students to practice crossing the midline and grasping and releasing an object. If you don't have a bean bag at home, you can just use a sock. Be sure to listen to the way that the music sounds Cause the music's getting faster and faster Pass the bean bag faster, 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 faster. Great job in class, friends. Now, remember, we won't be having class next week since it is spring break. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday.